Welcome to Austin EV Only. Today I'm going to show you how I installed this hand show touchless kick sensor to open the rear tailgate. Ah, that figures. Trust me, it's not the technician, it's the technology. Stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Coming up. Okay, let's start by taking out some of these trim pieces here. Hopefully we can do it without damaging the glass. Okay, and before removing this piece right here, there are two clips. We'll take that one out and then we'll do the same on the other side. Now I can start working out this piece. Let's be careful because there's a switch here, which means there's gonna be an electrical cable that probably doesn't take kindly to be overly stretched. Good thing my head was there to catch it. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see, there's a clip right here. Get that one out. That's it. As you can see, I also removed the uh, inserts here, and I'm gonna lay out these plugs just to talk about them real quick. So they're calling this plug one, and this plug two. Plug two is very hard to find, so I'm gonna go through it. Plug one goes, so here's the latch, obviously. This is plug one. Okay, so let's start to wire in these bypasses here. We'll unplug this guy, put in its replacement, and plug this bypass in. Plug two, much harder to find. So let's start from the outside and zoom in. So here we go. We're zooming in. And we're turning around or 180 degrees there's a box here plug on this side plug on this side and there's also some plugs up here this is the plug that we're going for okay one more angle again standing in the trunk facing outward coming up and above Let's see, we'll get there. Really, don't let the camera fool you. I cannot see what I'm doing. All right, got it. Okay, and now that I got that wire out, I can string it in here. How is the heck gonna connect with those pins? It's way, 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 way down there. Okay, I guess. And then this one is gonna go back up in there. All right, let's move on up. Okay, let's see if we can't do this. This time I'm actually using the camera to help guide my push. Okay, it's not coming off. There we go, she's good. Okay, and with those two wires attached, we can see it's kind of dangling now here. And I think what they're saying to do next is to take all this long wire and feel free to route it along here, down here, through here. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's see what kind of fun we can have removing these pieces here. I guarantee you that's good enough for now. Great, and let's do the other side now. And again, that's good enough for now. And I just need to get this piece down here. There we go. This piece, you can see it's already starting to come out and or it was already like that. But I think either way, we need to get this headliner partially down. Okay. There we go. 
There we go. So now that I have these two inverted, that's definitely gonna be good enough to get at the back side of, yeah, I can feel this. Feel the back side of that wire in there. So that's good enough. Okay, with that, we're ready to start fishing this wire through. Let me show you guys how fishing wire works. I see a lot of people doing this wrong and just not understanding it. The first thing I'll say is that I uh, attach this piece to this piece here. I'm like kind of doing a, let's see if you can see that, that loop there. And then this piece, here's how to fish wire or how to connect it the right way. So you put it through here, fold it over, and then put the cap on. Okay, so what I see a lot of times happen is people will put it on just as far as that, and then, I don't know, some sort of try to hook it down or something. I see people doing this like this. No, this is wrong. This is not right. And the reason is this can slip off, and even if it doesn't, you're putting way too much tension on this joint here and pulling the wire out. So you don't want to do that. You want to bring it down fold it in half like there really minimizes the impact and then the cap can come down like this so this is how you're supposed to pull wire and then the next pro tip here is they give you this orange wire pulling and i probably spent five minutes unwinding it it was in a tight loop and after five minutes it's still a little bent right so uh spend a lot of time unwinding this before you get started okay so i think the order of the day is feel free to start fishing this through this long hook here. All right, there we go, and I can see it right here. So let me at least get it this far before we continue on our way. There we go. Great, so let's stop there before we continue on. Okay, so now I'm gonna be going back in through here Oh yeah, I've dealt with this before. Uh, I'm gonna wrap these wires with electrical tape as far down as I can get it, cause there's a tendency to uh, break some of the wires if one is not careful. So I'm gonna undertake that step now. Yeah. Okay, and now we got this uh, wrapped with some cloth tape here. So that's what we're gonna do here is spend some time getting this thing ready. And the best way we can do that is by applying some wire pulling lubricant to the wire itself. And again, you probably don't have this, but from experience, I found that it just makes things go a lot easier, especially on this piece right here. So cool, we got our, and also gross, so gross. Okay, I think we're ready. I got my hands cleaned off. Let's do this. Go in through here. There it is. The moment you know everything's gonna be okay. Okay, and I got my gloves now, so maybe it won't hurt so much. Whoa! That sucker just went. Okay, let's pull the rest of this wire through. Pulling it all the way through, but for now, I've got a shorter pull here, so we can just see about looping it through here. Okay, and now I'll just route it down through here. 
we've got it going through here. So next we're gonna take this piece out and start taking the tab out here. Okay, so now that we got our cable length back to where we want it, I think we need to peel up this piece right here. See if we can pop out these side rails here. Yeah, it looks like they just come right up. That's great. Okay, and two little clips here to pull up real quick. So let's get those up. Two more clips over here on the edge. One there, one there. Okay, let's see if this comes out now. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I understand this tub needs to come out, which is not fun. Um, four very regular looking bolts here. One Torx bolt, say what? And then one, two, three, four, five reverse bolts. Okay. Okay, let's start getting the 13 millimeter bolts here. And then riddle me this. For this uh, star type, can I just use a pair of channel locks, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, sure can. It's not on that tight, so. Man, what you doing under there? Well, I'm just trying to get those five bolts out. Shoot. These are 10 millimeters. All right, let's see if we got the right ones out. Let's see. I see an empty hole, empty hole, empty hole, empty hole, empty hole. That means we're ready. Okay, now we're going to pull this tub out. Okay, and then just to make things clean, let me pull this one rivet out here just to get this on the other side there we go come on here we go there okay and now our cable's going the right way okay now this part confuses me i think what we're saying is we're going to go in here we'll look straight down we we'll go all the way down to here and then Back in here, I'm upside down now. There's, uh, this is the bottom. There's like a little hole right there and that's where we're gonna stuff the sensor. The sensor goes through plastic. You say, what? Sounds like magic, but it senses through the plastic. This time I'm gonna sweep around this way. And come down. And we can see, here's our sensor. This is a plate where normally the uh, the tow hook would go. No tow hook, so that's where our sensor is going to go. And then we're taking these two ends here and lining up the arrows and plugging them together and push really hard. Oh, goodness. And then we'll put some electrical tape around that. Okay, before I put everything back together, I want to make sure this works. I have my doubts. So what if we take this here and start plugging everything back together. So for example, we'll plug this in here, and then on the other side, we've got a little cable that goes to this, uh, this push button switch over here. So I need to splice in this cable real quick. Okay, and then on this side, you can see that there's a plug that comes out of the switch right there. So we're gonna insert this bypass here, one there, one here. Let's give it a test. Are we ready for the test? Let's check it out. Did I just throw another fuse? Come on. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, I heard it takes a second. Okay, one more time. Let's do it again. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh my God, okay, cool. Well, let's call that good. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna say is this box here, it has this cover, but let's just use some tape. Got me some Gorilla Tape here. Gorilla Tape for goodness sakes. Let's just tape it down. There. 
and now it won't bang around. Okay, let's get the sucker wrapped up. And then I'm not gonna lie, it is a pain in the butt to try to get this thing to stay. Easy to keep down, hard to put up. We hope you got something out of this. If so, would you smash that like button for the algorithm? Until next time, this is Austin Evie only.